Hello everyone, I am B.O.B. and welcome to another episode of Endercraft. And today, well, I have plans to build a few farms. Okay, so... <laughs> I'm trying to use the gold farm here. It's not exactly the most user-friendly thing in the world. Um, but I, I, didn't, I didn't have my trident in when I got it turned on. And I tried to turn on the trident killer and throw it up there, but uh, get up there and throw the trident in there, but that didn't work out. So now, it's just spitting zombie pigmen out all over the place. They're everywhere. I don't know what to do. I can't exactly fight them. I can't turn this thing off. There's no way to do that. Like, <laughs> what, is, what is with this farm? I don't understand. Okay, well, that'll turn off the trident killer. We're just going to put this torch, uh, you know, here. Oh, jeez. What, what is going on here? Okay, so I've attracted some of their attention. Uh, there we go. Go into the water where you're nice and slow. Uh, yeah, I, re I really got to figure out. Um, how to properly use this gold farm? Apparently, um, th that was quite the disaster. But yeah, I I need it. I need some gold. That's um kind of necessary for the project I'm about to be working on. But I, I can't seem to obtain it safely. This is this is a struggle. Okay, so I mean. It was a bit of a hassle. I got all the the zombie piglins uh, cleaned up, and, and I did manage to get whoop, wrong button <laughs> some some gold out of the farm. I and mean, once I craft these into ingots, I mean it'll give me a little bit more. I don't know if this is gonna be enough. I need to make some powered rails. Um, but this this gold farm it, it's not it's not all that user friendly. Um. Whoever designed this, would you mind if I made some modifications to make it a little easier to use? That, I mean, uh, <laughs> I, I promise it'll be easier on everybody. So check it out. This <laughs> is another baby zombie riding an upside down sheep. Uh, I don't know if that's the same sheep. I know, it, like, it can't be the same baby zombie. It was, it was wearing gold armor, if I remember correctly. Uh, but, like, how would the sheep get out? I mean... Clearly, that's someone's sheep. Dinner bone. He's upside down. I don't know. There is still something so enjoyable about seeing a baby zombie ride a pink upside down sheep, though. Okay, well, I got my collection system put in here. Uh, um, this is going to be the melon and pumpkin farm. I'm, I'm not just going to do like a two-in-one sort of thing. Like, some of them are going to be melons. Some of them are going to be pumpkins. It's all going to go into one chest. Um, it's not really a big deal because I don't have like a huge need for these things. Uh, it'll just be nice to have a constant supply coming in. Uh, now, I am building the, well, basically the same melon slash pumpkin farm that I built on the Labcraft server. However, this one's going to be a little bit smaller. And like I said, it's going to be two in one. Um, smaller because, well, yeah, like here again, I don't have a huge need for it. In that world, I'm using it for villager trading. Uh, so, you know, the more the better, but here it's just going to be a supply to have a supply. Uh, I know we were like trying to get pumpkins when we were building a slime farm and <laughs> nobody had like a, a large supply of them. Uh, so th this uh, will hopefully rectify that situation if it ever occurs again. Um, but one thing I did th that did occur to me, uh, I, I usually use end rods on the end of sticky pistons to break the plant and, and that actually serves two purposes one is uh, well the end rod has a small hitbox so your uh, pumpkin and or melon isn't going to glitch up through your pistons um or or even like out out through the wall because that sort of thing happens but uh it also lights up the farm now i can replace it with things like iron bars fence posts open trap doors or you know like to uh have that smaller hitbox but lighting up the farm might prove a little bit difficult 
um, I don't know. It, being that it's smaller, maybe just some lighting over the back might help. I'm not really sure how to go about it, though. I mean, hmm. I'm going to have to put some thought into this. You know, at some point, I, I really got to get around to designing a ceiling in this place. <laughs> it doesn't look that great. Uh, but yeah, anyway, back to the project. Well, I took a quick break from uh, the, the Melon Pumpkin Farm project. Uh, well, because I got to... I gotta craft some things, but uh, it did occur to me that you know while I was up here near the surface, there there's some things on the surface or uh, on the server that has changed, and, and I kind of wanted to show that off. This whole area in here, and it looks it looks spectacular. I don't know I don't know who did it, but yeah, it looks it looks just amazing over here now. Um, this structure with the iron blocks that was that was already there like that was there like f from prank week i think uh i don't i don't know what that was about uh but but yeah like so th this i shown off in the distance i think in my last episode but this whole area has changed since then like the stream and everything flowing through I, yeah, it looks it looks awesome i like it but uh well that's that's not the only thing you see there has been some more progress done on the center mall there um obviously still not complete but i mean it's coming further and further along but uh another big thing boom we got a big old mansion on top of our mountain now uh david of course did this uh, and and I, I don't believe it's complete. I think it's still a work in progress. Well, like I know it's still a work in progress. There's no interior in there, but I mean, even from from down here, it looks pretty cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, I, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Uh, pretty impressive build. I'm lo I'm loving how the server's filling up right now. Um, but one one thing is about that is like I, I gathered a bunch of quartz for that build, and, and it looked like. David got the quartz bricks somewhere else, which is awesome because I think I might need to use the quartz that I had gathered or at least some of it for, to craft some redstone components. <laughs> so I'm probably going to do that. And then, yeah, if David needs more quartz, I could help him gather more. Uh, but, yeah, I think he only needed so much for the door. I, we can come up here and take a closer look at least. Uh, but, yeah, there was like a, like a garage door that he made out of quartz bricks. And I did gather the quartz for that, but he must have acquired the bricks in another way because he's got them here. That, that all looks pretty cool. But yeah, you can see there's still some <laughs> some gaps. Uh, so it's not, it's not quite finished yet, but it's looking pretty good so far. Also, the bridge I built has been changed in, into a different style of bridge, which, I mean, that's okay, but we still have to swim across over here. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I mean, it, yeah, it looks good. Um, but yeah, yeah, I better get back to my project now. Um, I got a, I got a bunch of crafting I gotta do. So the farm is now complete. Melons and pumpkins kind of alternating in here. Uh, my lighting issue actually turned out to be a lot easier to fix than I initially thought because uh, something I wasn't thinking about was pistons don't really hold back light. Uh, not like a normal solid block does. So all I had to do was do a little torch spamming on top of this thing. Uh, and the light shines right through the pistons. No big deal. I got the fence posts underneath the pistons, so that's obviously not holding back the light. And this has been working very well already. We almost got a whole stack of melons. Um, so, so awesome. Project done. Um, like, I, I'm hoping to get in a few more... Or at least at least one more project today. Uh, I'm already kind of running late, and I, this this episode might just be a day late, so I can get this this next project done. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, melon melons and pumpkins up and running. Um, so I shouldn't have any problem coming across those from now on. Yeah, I gotta clear out some more space now. You see, I got an iron pickaxe in my. Uh, hot bar here 
And that is because I ran out of cobblestone crafting all these uh, observers and pistons. And, and this was the fastest way to get more. It was just to craft an iron an iron pickaxe and start digging out some stone. Uh, so that's probably what I'm going to use to dig out a large portion uh, of the area for this next project. And, well, I mean, obviously it's going to take a long time because this isn't, this isn't exactly fast. But I, I need the cobble. And uh, well, I need it dug out, so I might as well I might as well use up this iron pickaxe to get the job done. So as I'm digging digging out this area, I I had a random thought. <laughs> um, I, Mojang, M Mojang, if by chance somebody from Mojang is listening to this, please fix block lag. I mean, you said you were going to. <laughs> you you clearly did not. Um, it, it's it, it's it's getting frustrating. You should have seen me when we were building the uh, the the slime farm. Which, like we'd put in the logs and then strip the logs, and you'd like go down the line stripping all the logs, and like four or five of them would like it's like the bark would grow right back on them. It's it's very frustrating. So please. The block lag. Uh, another thing I did want to bring up while I was talking about um, Mojang updating things or fixing things, um, I, I I heard uh, through like internet chatter the other day that soon Minecraft will be supported on PSVR. And so uh, any of you that are playing on PlayStation 4, you know, like a lot of you probably know, I started out doing my videos on PlayStation 4. Um, but yeah, if you have a PSVR, soon you should be able to play Minecraft in, in VR, which would be amazing. I mean, it would be even more amazing if they just give us access to realms and servers on PlayStation. You know, that would be a great thing. Um, but uh, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm pretty excited about the VR thing. I, uh, I mean, I have one. I, I haven't used it in ages because... Well, I've been playing Minecraft and I can't. Uh, but that might that might actually like cause me to dust it off and play a little. And and I mentioned on my Discord server that if they do give access to uh, realms and servers on PlayStation, I might just do some VR tours. You know what I mean? Uh, I could do one of this server, do one of the Labcraft server. It could be could be interesting. I mean, I don't know how much different it would look from like just watching a normal video. Uh, but, uh, I don't, I know, I know for me, it's going to look a lot different, but I, I'm, I'm excited about that. Seeing some of these builds in a VR, uh, capacity that it's, it would just be amazing, but yeah, I'm going to get back to my, <laughs> my grind here, digging all this out and, uh, hopefully get started on, on the next build here very shortly. Here we go. This this will more than likely demonstrate what I'm talking about with the block lag. Here it, we got a bunch of gravel and dirt here that should all be cleared away relatively quickly. Let's watch. <laughs> I, I mean, seriously. Sometimes sometimes it feels like you got to break blocks like two three times. Look at that. I mean, obviously block lag is still in the game. And it might even be worse than it was before. I don't know. But it is annoying. Oh, uh, I don't know. I'm going to go back to digging. Well, the cactus farm is up. And, well, it hasn't produced a single thing yet. I mean, they don't necessarily produce all that fast. And actually, I didn't really put a whole bunch of cactus in here. Cacti. Uh, <laughs> so, I mean, like the thought of using this for xp might not be that efficient but i mean like once it fills up you're only taking out like one at a time and like it's not like i need a whole bunch of dye or anything like that i don't even really need a whole bunch of cactus uh but i am considering just like abandoning abandoning the whole xp function of this farm um and then just like having it collect cacti i i don't know i mean it would make it look better because i don't really like this corner i mean you come over here and of course i got to do like the floor and the walls like i have everywhere else but i mean like it, it's kind of cool looking like the way like the structure is all put together but then like on this side it kind of makes it all i don't know 
non-symmetrical. Uh, I mean, it, it doesn't look bad, but I feel like I feel like it might be better if it were just standing on four legs, collecting into a chest. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'll put some thought into that. I haven't even fueled it yet. It hasn't even produced a single thing yet. You, you would see it right here. Um, so, I, I don't know. I guess I'll put some more thought into that. But at least I did get this project complete. And, well, I mean, it's still not too late to get this video out on time. I got to rush and, and get the editing part of it all done. But, um... Oh, wow, that's filling up really quick. Okay, but, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I, I got I got two farms built. And, and, you know, there's still some things I want to get put in here. I still got to dig out a whole bunch of space. Uh, but, uh, yeah, like, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm kind of running out of time at this point. And I, I would like to get this episode out on time. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just wrap it up here. So that, my friends, completes today's episode. And, you know, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit that like button. And if you're interested in seeing more from me, consider subscribing as well. I would like to thank each and every one of you for watching and wish you all a wonderful day.